so this right here is the Lensmate thumb grip for the Fujifilm X105 and today I finally had my version for the Fujifilm X106 come in. So let's go over that. Hey, what's going on everyone? Hope you're doing all right. My name is Matt, this is Dwyer Creatives and today I just wanna go over this little thing right here, which is a thumb grip for my Fujifilm X105. And as I just said, I did go ahead and pick up one for my Fujifilm 6. Now it is two minute Tuesday, so let's put two minutes on the clock. So this right here is how your thumb grip will come. This is made by Lensmate. Hold it open and it'll pop right out. Now I picked this up specifically for my Fujifilm 6 and I did kind of wait because I didn't know if there would be any little differences between the 5 and 6 because there are a few little differences in their body. For me, as far as I can tell, these are pretty much exactly the same except for this says the uh, LMX100V and this says LXM100VI. Now, if you don't know what these are, these are thumb grips and you simply slide them into the hot shoe. There you go. And the reason that you have this is so that you can get a better grip on your camera. The reason that I specifically like these ones by Lensmate is because you can go ahead and flip that out of the way. Now let's go ahead and put this in the Fujifilm with X106. Just slide that little cover off the hot shoe and we'll slide this on. Now I will say for this one, for the six, that definitely is a lot tighter of a fit than here on my five. Now I don't know if that's just the age of this and that so it's worn a tiny bit more to make that easier as this is the first time I'm using this hot shoe. Another reason that you would want this specific thumb grip is because it's adjustable. And what I mean, you can flip that right up. Now the reason that you would want to be able to flip up this thumb grip is to access this button in this dial. While you can kind of access them here, when you flip it up, you do have better access to that. And especially the dial. For me, my fat fingers can't really get to it. I can a tiny bit, can't really click it unless I move that out of the way. So that's what this allows you to do. So if you're out shooting, you get a good grip, you need to make a small adjustment, do it, and then you flip it back, and you're good to go. And that's opposed to the ones that are just completely one piece. And they make them, I guess, a little bit thinner, maybe longer or shorter. But for me, I like this because it feels good in the hand. Then you have easier access to that one button and this dial. And you can do it all one-handed with this, or at least I can for myself. So if you're thinking about getting a thumb grip, definitely check out Lensmate. I know these do cost a little bit more, but I think if you are going to be using this camera a lot, this is definitely worth having that on there. From a durability standpoint, I've been using this camera pretty much as my EDC camera since around September and that's been carrying it almost seven days a week and this thumb grip has been on it since I got it it came with the camera when I got it and then I put this straight into usually my sling bag and if you haven't seen the way I have this set up I'll leave a link for it but this goes straight into my sling bag as you can see it looks in great condition the little rubber pad is still holding up great the little rubber pad on the inside is held up great with no signs of any wear on there. And the hinge has no issues. It's still like the day I got it. So when it comes to using this one on the 6, I expect the quality to be very similar in this to hold up basically for the life of the camera, hopefully. This is a little bit more pricey. I did pick it up directly from Lensmate. It was about $67 including the shipping and it took about a week and a half to ship out. If you are looking for a solid thumb grip, this is the one that I would recommend and the only one I would recommend. And again, this is based off the quality of the build, feels super solid. And then that accessibility to access the additional controls because you wanna be able to have access to all that, especially if you're on the go and you're shooting and this is something that you wanna use every day, catching those really quick moments here and there. If you're considering it, definitely pick it up. If you have any questions or comments on this one, definitely drop those below. Always willing to answer any questions. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.